Hi. I wanted to share a story about an experience I had recently. We're in the midst of the Omicron um, outbreak here in Canada, and we've been spending half our time at our cottage on Wolf Island in the Thousand Islands. So it's rural and it's remote and it's in the woods and on the water and it's peaceful when the world is kind of going crazy. And I've been working from here and, um, and our daughter's been doing online school from here. The other day I went out to walk the dog down the road and it's a rural road and there's a couple of neighbors, but usually you don't run into anybody. You see birds and the occasional fox and not a lot else. And the wind was howling and the snow was blowing and, and it was pretty, it was pretty bitter. And as I was walking down the road, I came up on a neighbor and um, sounds a little bit like a Red Riding Hood story there, but there she was walking her two dogs. And I can't even tell you how really happy it made me, how grateful I was to see another human being. Now, I know that this neighbor of mine has been having some challenges, some real hardships in her life. So we stopped and I asked her how she's doing and what's going on with her. And she shared the troubles that she's had in her life. And then she asked me how I was. And I'll tell you that normally my response to that is fine, you know, doing good. And, you know, trying to focus on the positive and, and everything's going well. Um, but in that moment with the wind blowing and the, the snow in our faces, I, I actually burst into tears. And I said to her, I'm struggling. Some days I'm really struggling. I feel like the weight of the world the last two years has, you know, kind of gotten in my bones. And in my work, that's all on the, on the dark side, um, all anxiety and fear and anger. I feel the real heaviness of it. And I'm struggling to find light and joy and positivity. And I'm having to be really intentional about it. And so some days like that day in the road, I'm, I'm, I feel a little bit of despair. And I cried. The two of us stood in the road and cried. You know, we gave each other a hug and we stood there far longer than the, than the extreme cold warning would have allowed for. And then we headed off in our, in our own different directions with our dogs. And I, as I was walking home, I actually first felt a bit ashamed. You know, she had enough of her own burdens and challenges and troubles and who was I to tell her my challenges? I didn't want to add to her burdens. And, and also too, I have a little bit of an identity attached to holding space for others and, and then being sure not to uh, offer my own burdens to other people. And so, so I really did feel kind of bad at first. And then once that passed, when once I kind of looked at it, I realized I was mostly just deeply grateful for the interaction, that actually I want so much more of that in my life. Not the, not the crying on the snowy road, um, uh, not so much more of that, but so much more of the kindness, of the compassion, of the being there for each other. And you know, while it's a personal story, it's a story about how we interact with strangers, with neighbors, with folks in our organizations, with other people in our communities. It's how we choose to show up vulnerable and brave, how we choose to respond when, that, when people give us that. And so I, I guess I'm, maybe this is a call to action. <laughs> Maybe this is just a acknowledging a moment that um, I think there's real opportunity for us to consciously choose how we show up with each other. You know, Brene Brown says, vulnerability is not weakness. It's our greatest measure of courage. And I think I want more of that in the world. And I want to invite it and encourage it and call it forth in me and in you. Thanks for listening.